A day after giving her State of the Union address in Brussels, where she said Vladimir Putin was waging an energy war on Europe, the president of the European Commission made an unannounced trip to Kyiv. Ursula von der Leyen came with a clear message. You have your European friends by your side as long as it takes and that we are friends forever. Von der Leyen and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky appear to have respect for one another. Zelensky unveiled a plaque outside Parliament honoring the EU leader after they held closed-door meetings. Von der Leyen committed to $5 billion in loans to Ukraine and $250 million for schools and temporary housing for people displaced by the war. But she stopped short of committing to any new Russian sanctions, something Kyiv has been asking for. Von der Leyen announced that she will be hosting a Ukraine Reconstruction Congress at the end of October in Berlin where she will be bringing together people to discuss how much money Ukraine will need to rebuild and where to get that money from. And that amount could keep going up because Ukraine continues to be destroyed as this country's war continues. Late Wednesday night, Russian cruise missiles hit a dam in southern Ukraine, forcing water to overflow a local river and partially flooding Krivary a city of 600,000 that is Zelensky's hometown. We understand that at the destroyed dam there were no Ukrainian military units. It doesn't surprise me that Russia is hitting civilian infrastructure because they've done it before. It was the second strike on civilian infrastructure in recent days by the Russians after they also bombed a thermal power plant in the northeast, temporarily cutting power to Ukraine's second largest city, Kharkiv. While von der Leyen wanted to talk about rebuilding, the Ukrainians continue to call for what they consider more immediate needs, weapons that they say are the only way to end the war. Gabriel Lozando, Al Jazeera, Kyiv.